when I was in town, I picked up this unit that uh, is supposed to be a heater and, a, and it's supposed to be able to cook food in emergency situations and stuff. Now, it's at home hardware and it's $8. Uh, eight bucks. So we'll say 10 bucks out the door, right? So this is the unit here. It says magic heat, right? Emergency stove and fuel cell. We're going to test it today and see if it works. It says, it says uh, safe to use, uh, safe to hold cooking device uses stove we're going to test that today heat source i know for a fact it works for heat i know it does because i have an older version of this and it does work for heat but i don't know if it works for cooking so let's give it a shot obviously i got my fire going it's safe it's in a it's in a uh, appliance so it's not going to cause a problem out here in the bush but let's give this thing a go we'll unbox it and see what happens there's the whole unit there so that's the whole unit so this is the bonnet, that's your fuel cell. And you've got these bars here, which clip up top and they come apart for packing, right? I'd highly recommend that if you're gonna take this thing with you, it's 10 bucks, I mean, my God, but anyway, uh, put these in a sleeve, okay? Because if you don't put these in a sleeve, they'll cut your pack. I'd put them in a sleeve so you don't lose them too. So to light it, now here's what's cool, when you pack it, you turn that inside like that, okay? You just turn this thing around, put it on top of your the fuel cell, and it packs away pretty tight. But again, I have my doubts that this thing's gonna cook anything. I've tried boiling water with it, no go. 30 minutes later, the water was barely bubbling, so um, regardless, the point is, let's light her up and get her going. There it goes. Be careful with alcohol stoves. This is basically an alcohol stove. Be careful with it because the flames are not really visible, especially if you have kids, okay? Just be careful because they may come up and touch it. Not good. Not good at all. I mean, you can see it, but anyway, regardless. The bonnet goes on top like this. Well, actually, what we'll do so we don't burn our fingers, put your Put your gear together like this, right? And that just simply fits here like on top of your, on top of that. And this goes like that. You're good to go, all right? One thing I will recommend though, if it's windy out, <clears throat> this is with any stove, any outdoor stove, baffle it. In other words, get a, get a shield so the wind doesn't blow it out, right? We're going to see if we can cook some eggs on this thing. So I got my trusty little handy dandy pot. And as they say, let's get cracking. Jeez, I broke this egg carrying it out here. <laughs> Did I ever? Okay, so I just put the eggs on. It's now 9.53 a.m. So let's just uh, see how long this takes to cook, okay? And we'll see what uh, if this thing's worth it or not. This magic heat stove is only supposed to be for emergencies, right? So it's not gonna, it's gonna take time to cook. It just is. Really and truly, it's great for a heater. It really, truly is. I use it in a, fall and winter and early spring but um as a cooking unit well we'll see in a few minutes it's beautiful out today lots of mosquitoes but uh with the fire going yeah they're gone the smoke right get a good smoky fire going and you're good it's starting to cook the egg well it's two eggs but it's starting to cook it Okay, so now it's 10.07, and uh, this egg's ready to flip. It's slow. You have to remember with stoves like this, there's no control, like zero control. The only control you have is by lifting your pan higher 
but that's it that, that that's the only control you got so again it's an emergency stove it definitely does work for cooking there's no question it works slow but it works so i would suggest like for ten dollars for ten bucks i would suggest uh yeah you should carry one i really do i think it would be um well worth it let's flip this egg holy crap well this thing's cooking um just want to remind everybody that if this is a typical camp setup cooking here is fine as long as it's not near your tent you don't want to be sleeping in your tent and have some crazy fellow like a raccoon or something come through the door because you've got food smell on you right so i'd highly recommend you do not cook near or around your tent all right at least at least 30 feet to 40 feet away if you can okay so it's about 10 12 this egg's fully cooked i'm going to take it off now the um is it worth carrying this stove? Is it worth spending $10 on this thing? I would suggest it is, um, primarily for a heater. So you could put this on the ground around you and it'll heat your body up if you can't light a fire. If the regulations say that you cannot light a fire. Most of the times regulations, in other words, the bylaws of the county or township that you're camping in, will state that you can have a fire for heat and for um, uh, cooking purposes. However, that clause is waived a lot of the times when there's a full-out ban. When there's a full-out burning ban, that's where this thing would come in handy. Okay. Would I carry it with me tripping? No. It's bulky and it just takes up too much room in my pack which is i like my pack small i and and i like to carry as little as i can but if i was base camping if i do base camp which i do sometimes i will take that with me for ten dollars i don't think you can go wrong it took quite a while to cook two eggs but it still cooked them right if you can light this thing you can light a fire but sometimes you can't have a fire like i said earlier so therefore this thing would come in handy Anyway, enough of that. I'm going to uh, chow down on this and, um, you know, it did pretty good. It's not bad. I mean, it doesn't look like much. <laughs> it's not bad, though. Okay, to put these things out, you can't blow them out. You just can't. Um, you basically got to take this cap, this thing off, which isn't fun. If I had a pair of gloves, it'd be easy. But I don't. There we go. Good. Put the cap on it, eh? It'll extinguish it right away. Watch it, this thing's hotter than crazy. There we go. Just let that cool down. And you're good. That's the fuel cell here. Well, they call it a fuel cell. I believe it's predominantly alcohol. Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to look into that. Regardless, the thing is, it's a great little heater, I'll tell you. Okay, that's enough for that. So it's, again, it's called Magic Heat Stove and Fuel Cell. Cheap, easy to use, takes time to cook, but it does cook. So, win-win. It's all done. Take it easy.